I, I, I really was all sometimes, sometimes ashamed to say I'm a painter. Uh, because uh, they always thought painting is a luxury. I studied, I studied fashion design and uh, my father's reaction was obviously the usual typical Jordanian male from the tribes, which was like, what? <laughs> no son of mine. Concerning filmmaking, uh, at the time I wanted to become a filmmaker, the, this industry was not booming in Jordan. It was very neutral, nobody was knowing about, about it, uh, nobody was talking about it, nobody was doing it. But it, it, it was starting to happen. And that's why when I realized that, yeah, that's really what I want to do. And I want to be like one of the first filmmakers in Jordan. Well, my family used to uh, actually, they used to give me a hard time about like listening to some rock, hip rock metal music. And they were like, uh, oh, it's phase, it's gonna go through and it's gonna be good. Till now I'm not. I had to become a lawyer also. In order, in order to convince them, in order to make them realize is that art is important. But see, painting is much, appreciating a good painting is much more difficult than appreciating music, nor appreciating literature, nor any other form of art, I think. We have to remember that my parents are doctors. They were doctors, I mean, they're like anesthesiologists, so from that background, like, you know, like to the arts, they were like, they loved art, but they didn't just understand it. So, and it wasn't so much what the society around was saying, you know, it was more like, they're like, they just couldn't fathom the idea that somebody could be making money off fashion. And now, see, my dad is an artist too. He, he can sketch and he can draw. He understands the idea, but he doesn't understand the business or the concept. The idea it's beyond them. It's like you have a job and then this is what you do as a hobby. This is how he was looking at it. He says, I want you to have something that's stable, but he wants you also to have something that's, you know, to relax you. Um, filmmaking is a very tough business. Uh, you, you like sometimes have to stay up really late and you have to like wake up at four or five in the morning and go to work. And some people like uh, do not accept that for their like daughters and like for their children. They don't find this um, necessary so they don't take it seriously and that's where some of these like kids start to have these problems with their parents that uh, this is what I want to do and it's not about like how long it takes you to do it or like what time you get to wake up or go up to bed it's about loving what you're doing while doing it and this is what I believe everybody should understand because like just like any other person who likes to go to work from 9 to 5 others like to go from 5 to 9 for example so it's, it's like, it's all about what you want, what you like to do, what, what you're passionate about. And this is what I'm passionate about, obviously. My parents are supportive as well. They don't take it as seriously because they know our culture doesn't take it seriously. And there's like, this is that end thing, you know, you don't get anywhere. But they're supportive as on their son. And they just like, they, get, they tell me like, go do whatever you want. Uh, you can sing, then go sing and bring the news. Let us know how, how it goes. And, um, and our friends, of course, they're supportive, and our friends take it more seriously because they're like us, they have dreams, so, uh, you know, so they're like in the same, the same position as we are, uh, they want to establish something, so they support you in the same way, but the parents is different, but at least my parents are supportive of this. And God created the butterfly, he would have made it all black. Why did he make all these abstract, fascinating designs on the wings, huh? It's a feeling that, that yani, God is an artist. How did people react? I mean, when, I f when they first heard I was going into fashion, they said the, the equivalent of, I'll say it in Arabic and then I'll translate it. It was basically, Shu, bidak yaykum khayat? Basically, what? Do you want him to be a seamstress? Um, as artists in Jordan, we don't have the cultural background for art. Yes, we have the calligraphy, but the idea of art it's not really something that has been fostered within us because everybody's been busy becoming doctors, lawyers, uh, graphic designers, uh, architects. These are, the, these are the staple things, businessmen. When I first wanted to get in the film industry in Jordan, uh, my family, some of my friends thought it was really funny because we don't have a very strong movie base or like film industry base in Jordan. So people never took it seriously. Uh, my parents, 
you know, they support the whole thing and they didn't take it seriously at first. They were like, yeah, you graduated uh, college in five years, engineering degree, and now you're just playing in bars and stuff. So that was a little tough, convincing them that this is, this is, this is what I like to do. It's more than just a hobby. And yeah, they, they're starting to warm up to the whole idea. My name is Mohamed Durra, and I like to be a painter. My name is Walid Zabi, and I'm an artist who works with makeup. My name is Vidash Fakhoj, and I'm a filmmaker. I'm Mohamed Taifi. I'm Mohamed Hindi. I'm Kamal Shabir, and we are MT Chair.